All right, so we've adjusted the wiring here from the orange that used to be in the YT terminal to the ACC minus, and we're still using the brown on the ACC plus. So this is our dry contact circuit that's going to activate the steam humidifiers. It terminates on the one and two terminal positions on the humid humidistat location of the April Air Model 800 steam humidifier. Then we have GC Y1. Y1, in essence, is going to go to the Y2 at the circuit board inside. And then we have B, which energizes on heat. We have um, our 24 volt signal and W1, which is going to be auxiliary heat. The reason for this setup is because we have communication as a means to have the indoor and outdoor speak to one another. Now let us go to the other side to show you how to set up. After a lot of back and forth, we finally got it working. So here you'll see that turn on light. That one's our R, our 24 volt signal. Let me get a little screwdriver to point things out for y'all. Okay. So right here is our 24 volt signal going upstairs. C is our common wire going upstairs to power the Ecobee. G is our fan. Y slash Y2 is the second stage of heating or cooling using the heat pump outdoors or the outdoor unit heat pump. Then you have the B. You can't really see it because the, the copper is actually <laughs> obstructing the B terminal, but that energizes on heat. Then you have W1, which is off kilter. Note to manufacturing staff, perhaps bring that down a little bit so it's easier for people to hit. You literally sometimes have to count them to make sure that you're hitting the right one. So that W1 is right there and that corresponds to this. So you're not gonna use W, you're gonna use W1 to energize your auxiliary. And then you'll see here that we're using the orange and the brown for the ACC plus, ACC minus terminal, terminals upstairs, which function as a dry contact. There's no voltage carried on the control signal. It's just on and off like a switch. And that's what terminates in here on the one and two positions of the humidistat um, area of the circuit board. And that's how you set up an Ecobee to power on and off a steam humidifier. They use this dry contact since the steam humidifier has its own transformer inside. Note that you have to go into the setup installer setup and designate that you're using the ACC plus and ACC minus terminals to energize a humidifier in order to create a dry contact situation. Otherwise it won't function properly. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Um, any questions, feel free to leave comments. I hope this is helpful. Uh, one thing I also want to let the installers and technicians out there installing the carrier crossovers know is be aware that when you're using the communication uh, scenario one, where the outdoor and indoor communicate via uh, two, um, two leads. So this is a 16 gauge stranded thermostat wire from the indoor and outdoor. And it's S1, S2 there, and it goes to the outside S1, S2. When you're using this as communication, you're gonna set it up as um, Y2, one, one stage, and then W1 as the as a call for the auxiliary heat because the indoor and the outdoor will communicate. So you don't need to um, use the Y1 and the Y slash Y2 independently in order to designate the staging. Additionally, I found on the PowerPoint slide provided by tech support at Carrier, they had this all in the off position in the spring 2023 edition that I had when I attended the training. So that's actually wrong. The, the number one terminal here, the SW1-1, needs to be in the on position for scenario one in which you're using a 24 volt thermostat as a means to control the system. So just keep that in mind because that threw me for a loop when I had them all in the off position as the PowerPoint slide designated. I didn't, wasn't even getting a signal here. So I'm just happy that I got some resolution on this and should be starting up momentarily. So um, time delay since I shuttered it on and off. 
and right here you already see that the steam humidifier is work working so that's how you guys do it and i hope this is helpful again if you have any questions or concerns please let me know i'm here to help i'm just like everyone else learning this technology as it comes the only difference is i try to convince myself that to get used to that uh, frustrating experience that anyone experiences when they integrate a new system into their repertoire because it's not going to get easier it's just going to get harder as they bring out new equipment and the technicians and installers out on the field serve as the the r d for these companies thanks